In this video, we'll look at how we can add our timers to our stage display so that if we want someone standing up on stage having a timer for the length of their segment, we can show it to them. Let's get started. So like our stage display videos, we're going to go up the top here, stage editor, and I'm going to come down to my custom stage display I made earlier. Now I'm just going to rearrange this really quickly so that it makes a bit more sense. Next slide, current slide. Now, what I'm going to do is I have my timer set up here. I've got an MC spot account down and I have a timer three for how long the service went for or the event went for. So let's shut our timers. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna move some of these. So this here is the actual time of the day. So the time on the computer. This here is my first timer that counts down from my MC spot. That's my countdown timer to the event. And then I'm actually gonna have my other timer over here. So to add a new timer up to the plus timers, I'm gonna say how long is the event gone for? So that's gonna be counting throughout the whole event. We might even make it a little bit bigger. Make this one bigger and we might make them 80. Copy the style, paste the style. Now over here, you've probably noticed that I put both of these on top of each other. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm going to play around with the visibility settings. So I want all of my timers that are relevant in this bottom left corner. I'm currently on my countdown timer. I'm going to go into shape, choose visibility, when all of the conditions are met. So I'm going to go to timer. I'm going to choose countdown because I'm currently editing my countdown timer. And when it is running, I want it to show on here. When I go to my MC spot timer, I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to choose my MC spot timer. When it is running, it's going to show here. We make them both a little bit bigger. And now what this will do is all the timers that are relevant to people on stage counting down are down here in this corner but it will only show one at a time. So if my current timer is my countdown timer running, it'll show that. So if I click here, it turns my countdown timer on. There it is. When I click end timer, it disappears. So when I get to my MC spot, my MC spot timer will show up there as well. Thanks for watching this fast ProResenter 7 tutorial. Don't forget that if you found this confusing or you'd like more information, our longer tutorials can be found on our YouTube channel.